Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another video. I paid £280 for a PlayStation 5 and this PlayStation 5 doesn't turn on. So hopefully we're going to be able to fix it and then I can resell it and make some profit. So I originally bought one a few days ago off a customer for £150 because it had a hell of a lot wrong with it. The customer paid £150 for it and then I bought it off him because I'd originally quoted him I think it was two, just under £200 to fix, and then when I actually got inside, yeah, it was it was way more than that. So I ended up buying it off him, and I managed to get that one working. So I've got one for myself, but hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to be able to fix this and reset it for a nice little profit. So these are going for around about £460 each, uh, British pounds, that is, and... Yeah, there's a little bit of money in it if I can if I can get it working depending on the actual issue. I do have some donor parts, so we should be okay in terms of diagnostics and things like that. But hopefully we can get it fixed because yeah, two hundred and eighty pounds a lot of money. The seller was on Facebook and he originally wanted three hundred for it and basically he just said that it doesn't turn on. I offered him two hundred and fifty and he said no. Um and then eventually he got back to me and said two hundred and eighty pounds and you'll take it and uh, <laughs> yeah. I ended up buying it. So, with that being said, this is the PlayStation 5. It's the disc edition. So, you know, if if I can get it working, it's going to be worth it. There'll be a bit of money in it for me. Um, so, I've got one for myself, like I said, but I do have some spare parts as well from another one I bought a few weeks ago. Yeah, I've been buying a few PS5s lately. But, yeah, hopefully we can get this fixed and hopefully make some money on it. So, with that being said, if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, then I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and that way you don't miss any future videos and if you want to support me my belly's just been rumbling which is kind of a meme by now but if you want to support me if you want to buy any of the equipment that i use here there'll be some amazon affiliate links in the video description feel free to check them out and i've been doing a couple of things lately one of those is to try and forward viewers based on their country to the right amazon site so yeah let me know what country you're from if he's not forwarding you to the right one and I'll try and get them added as soon as I can. So every time you click on an Amazon link and buy something through Amazon, doesn't matter whether it's a thing that you know I'm promoting or recommending in the video descriptions. If you click on one of those links and then buy anything off Amazon, I get a commission. So yeah, it really does help out the channel. Helps me to keep making videos like this because these are expensive. So hopefully we can get it fixed. Hopefully we can make some money and uh, everyone will be happy. So yeah, let's get into this repair, shall we? Okay, so here's the PS5. It's actually in fairly decent condition. I mean, there's a few scratches on the front. I don't know how people do this, to be honest. There's a few scratches on the front, but uh, yeah, it's all good. So, like I said, I paid 280 for this. That's in British pounds. I'll put a conversion, you know, just uh, here somewhere. I'll put a conversion for US dollars, and I'll put it in the title as well. People actually ask me why I do that. And the reason I do that is because US dollars is a little bit more relatable. British pounds, we're the only country to use it, whereas everyone knows what a US dollar is. I mean, Americans can't even say pound. I think it's a hash symbol. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's just see what is going on with this, shall we? So apparently it's got no power. Okay, no beep as well. Okay, so we've got no power, no beep. All right, that's fine. So I'll take this apart, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do about getting it fixed. Oh, warranty sticker still on it. Sweet, that's awesome. So it might just be a power supply because no one's messed with it. I do have a power supply that I can use for testing, and yeah, that definitely hasn't been taken off. Sweet. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely never been messed with. Oh, that's awesome. It's so nice to actually say that because, I mean, I bought one last week. That video will already be out by the time this one comes out. But I bought one last week and, uh, well, it was about two weeks ago. And, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave a link in the top right-hand corner. Here. Just, just, just watch that video. Um but yeah, we're going to get this apart and um, hopefully be able to figure out what's going on. So I need to take it apart. Well, I need to take these screws out at least. 
reason being is because I can't get to the power supply without taking those out. So I'm going to check the power supply first. It looks like mm, it's hard to tell. I don't know if someone's attempted to take it apart and decided against it. But at least uh, at least the console hasn't been messed with, so we're not going to get any nasty surprises inside. Or at least I assume so. So I'm just going to get these few screws out of the top case. And while I'm doing that, there'll be a link in the video description to my Patreon. If you want to support me in any way other than Amazon, then you can head over to Patreon and become a Patreon uh, supporter. Patreon and channel members get early access to some videos. Not all of them, I'm a little bit lazy, but uh, they get early access to some videos, usually one to two days uh, advanced uh, viewing sort of thing. Why is it dog bark every single time I hit the cord? Honestly, it's super annoying. They must just know. To answer one question, people are going to be saying, oh, that's filthy. People are going to be saying, uh, why hasn't it gone back under warranty? And these are coming out of warranty now. These are the, um, well, these are going to be the early launch models, and they are coming out of warranty. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, because this is... Well, I can see dust all down the side and everything, you know, dust is absolutely everywhere in this. Look at that. I'll keep that for breakfast tomorrow. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, because there's dust everywhere, I think it's probably best to just take this fully apart either way, because it's going to need cleaning. So either way, I may as well just take apart the entire console, and then that way I can clean it while I'm doing some tests. So I'll fast forward through this bit just because it's going to take quite a bit of time. There's about 60 screws in this. So I'll fast forward through this bit and uh, I'll pick it up when I'm ready to proceed. Right, okay. So we're pretty much ready to get into this console now. There we go. Come on. There's a lot of pressure on these when they've never been opened. There we go. That's got it. There you go. No damage to the stickers. That'll dry off. That's the funny thing. That'll dry off and allow it to stick back down. So the first thing I want to do is just test for a few voltages. It's pointless testing the power supply until I know whether there's voltage there or not. Man, I hate those things. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> the, uh, the stickers come off. Oh, I hate those things, honestly. They are real tight. There you go. That got it. All right. So, like I said, the first thing I want to do is just test to see if we've got voltage where voltage should be. So, let's have a look. And see what's going on. So, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see the screen. It's fairly dull. Alright, so I'm going to give it some ground. Um, do we have 12 volts coming in? No. So this could just be a power supply. Interesting, okay. Well, let me get another power supply then. I do have one. So, to change the power supply, I'm going to need to get the board out. I'd rather get the heatsink out. So, I'll go on this side. Let's remove that screw. And 
and that screw. There we go. I never removed the uh, <laughs> the LED ribbon. Damn it! There we go. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that the heatsink is fairly dusty anyway. So that pretty much had to come out. There's the power supply, and I've got another housing here. So I'm going to get the heatsink out of this one so as I can use the power supply off it. There we go. Beautiful. See, that's what it's meant to look like, but it's really, really dusty. So that's just a spare housing that I've got from a console that I couldn't fix. So I'm going to pop this on here. There we go. And just give this a brush down before I pop it back into the original housing. There we go. It's a bit better. So I'm going to brush down the original housing as well, just a little bit. Just get rid of any dust inside there. Or the majority of it anyway. There we go. Whoopsie. That weren't meant to happen. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, let's plug it in and see if we get any change. So, back in DC mode then. Let's see if we get anything this time. Yes, we do. We get 12 volts. Is it going to turn on? Oh, I haven't plugged the LED in. No, it's turning on. I can feel heat. Yes. Oh, man, I haven't plugged the LEDs in. Oh, what a fool. What an idiot I am. <laughs> well, never mind. I think it's turning on. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. White light, baby. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Just a power supply. So this power supply is faulty. And these are dying like, uh, like wildfire. Okay, it's gone back to blue. So it looks like it was shut down unexpectedly. So it probably just died. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. Right, I can't use that. Uh, let's try it actually. I've I've had an issue with this cable. I might need to change it. Let's try that one. PlayStation logo, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Shut up, multimeter. It's now got a pulsing blue light, and nothing's happening on the screen. What? Uh oh, that's not good. It's still warm. Is it going to go back on? It is, but it's not booting. It's now a long pulsing blot. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh no. I'm going to try and shut it down. Is it just because it's overheating? Okay, it's not even shutting down. Oh, that's worrying. That's real worrying. Fan's not spinning either. Okay, now it's shut down. Let's try and turn it back on. Whoa. Damn it. Bit of dust in there.
Okay, that's worrying now it's not turning on. Maybe I need to rebuild the database. Or factory reset it. I mean, it's got to be factory reset anyway. So I'm thinking, probably put it into safe mode. It's gone back blue. Or rather, it's still pulsing blue and it's not booting. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's put it in safe mode. Second beep, there we go. Okay, should go into safe mode here. There we go. Reset PS5. Uh, okay, so I'm resetting to factory defaults because it looks like it might be corrupted, but it's got to be done anyway to be able to use it myself, so I'm not really that bothered. I am going to download the PS5 software just in case I need it while I'm waiting. Okay, we've got the PlayStation logo. Okay. That appears to be fine. It's booting now. So, was that data just corrupt? Um, I think it might be best to plug the Wi-Fi antennas in. <laughs> might be best to plug the Wi-Fi antennas in here. I'm not going to plug the uh, disk drive in yet, it's not really needed. I just want to get through the setup, but the controller isn't responding because the antennas are not in. So that should solve that. Not really bothered about the disk drive, like I said, for now. Okay, let's go back to the capture card. There we go. So I should be able to use the controller now. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's connect to Wi Fi. Continue without disk. Uh, let's go optimize. Uh, let's go low power use. There we go. Uh, agree to the terms that we never read. And let's sign in later, shall we? Welcome to PlayStation 5. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, now it's working. So it looks like the data was just corrupt. Settings. Screen and video, video output info. Yeah, it's going to be in 19, 20, 10, 80. Uh, reason for that is because I'm on a HDCP splitter, so it's not going to actually show up on the uh, on the console as 4K, but it will when I change it to a TV. Excellent, fantastic. So I guess all that I've got to do now is just put it all back together. I'm going to shut that down, press and hold the power button, wait for the second B, and I'm going to put it all back together, get everything screwed back in, and uh, yeah, call it good. So I'm going to fast forward to pretty much as I've put this all back together. All I need to do is just put it all back together, put the disk drive in, and we're going to call it good. Happy days, power supply, nice. That means I get to make some money back on the PS5 that I didn't fix last week. Right then, there we go. Boom. That is one, well, apparently working console. So I'm going to give it a full test quickly. Make sure that everything works. And uh, yeah, we should be good with this. All right, let's just see if it still turns on with the controller. Boom. It does indeed. Oh, it's got a disc in it. What have we got? Star Wars Battlefront. Meh. Nah. Boring. And boom. There we go. So, yeah. Capture card is playing up for some reason. But let's just make sure everything works. We've got HDR. Star Wars Battlefront. So it is picking up. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm super happy now. 
Video output info, yep, 4K, so there we go. 38, 40, 21, 60, 60 hertz, HDR working. Fantastic. Awesome. There we go. So, yeah, it just turns out that the power supply failed in this, and luckily, no one tried to fix it because I can make some money. So, the power supply, they go for around about £100, so I'm probably in for around about 380 and I've got a buy lined up for 475 so, you know, I'm probably going to make £95 profit on this, and that's without a controller, so I'm not going to grumble. I'm really not going to grumble. It's a nice bit of profit. I've already got a buyer lined up. So, yeah. By the time this video comes out, it will be sold. Or at least should be sold. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Really, really happy about this one. Glad that no one tried to fix it because, obviously, you know, they probably would have realised the power supply was at fault. And, yeah, it probably would have got fixed instead of, being, instead of being sold to me. So, I did have a power supply. And the reason I had a power supply is because I bought one a couple of weeks ago with a... Um, blue light of death issue and I couldn't fix it not going to spoil that video just in case you haven't watched it I'll leave it in the iCard above but basically I had a spare power supply um, and uh, yeah just by swapping the power supply this console's working so it just goes to show that sometimes they are nice and easy so that's going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching if you do have any comments or questions leave them down in the comment section down below I'll always do my best to answer if you do want to organise a repair, there'll be a link in the video description to the website where you can book in the repair or get in touch if you want to inquire about prices. And if you want to support me in any way, then number one, please subscribe if you're not if you've not already. And number two, turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified whenever I release a video. And you can also give this video a thumbs up. That that massively massively helps. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really really does help to push the content to new viewers. And if you do want to support me financially, there'll be a Patreon link in the video description. You can become a Patreon supporter. You can become a channel member using the join button below the video. You can donate directly through PayPal or through my payment processor Square by using the links in the video description. Or you can head over to Amazon and you can just buy something off Amazon. Doesn't matter what it is, if you use Amazon anyway, just use one of my links and then no matter what you buy, I'll get a little bit of commission on it. It's usually between 1% and 5% of commission, so it does help and it basically helped me to keep buying new stuff. Talking about Amazon, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can head over to Twitch, become a Twitch Prime subscriber, which is completely free to do, but it really does help out the channel. Give me around about 250 for every person that does it, and honestly, it really does help out. So with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. So glad I could get this one working. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now.